When tropical systems move inland, we all know there's a threat for wind damage and flooding. But more than half of landfalling hurricanes also produce at least one tornado. In 2020, Isaias spawned 12 tornadoes in North Carolina. The strongest was an EF3 in Bertie County that killed two people. So why does this happen? When a hurricane's outer rain bands move on shore, the friction from the land will cause the winds near the ground to slow down. But the winds just above the ground continue to remain quite strong. This is what we call wind shear, the change in wind speed and direction as you go up. With wind shear, thunderstorms will begin to rotate and tornadoes can form. Keep in mind that sometimes the outer rain bands are hundreds of miles away from the center of the storm. So tornadoes are possible even when the center of circulation is still well offshore. Storms that form in the Gulf of Mexico can also bring tornadoes to North Carolina. As the system moves northeast, areas east of the center have the potential to produce tornadoes. Tornadoes within tropical systems are particularly dangerous because they tend to form really fast, sometimes in one to two minutes, and they move fast too, sometimes at 50 to 60 miles per hour. Fortunately, they're usually short-lived, often lasting just a couple of minutes. The fast development and movement make them harder to track on radar. So anytime we have a tropical system nearby, be ready for tornadoes too. Some years, the United States sees 10% of its annual tornadoes in just one tropical system.